the way that we got from our ancestors as the right way to serve the Creator is by breaking through the curtains and walls of separation to the core and essence of the truth to find the life, the spark of holiness, the wisdom within every life situation and live organism, particle of creation. The purpose of the truth seekers and the true believers is to find the truth in the darkest places of them all. Many of us, even though it will seem to foreign eyes like everything is okay by us and that we're functioning and that we're doing well and good, many of us are standing in a very fragile position in life and sometimes walking on very thin ice and experiencing life in a very very critical way some of us going through mental challenges that would put many other people in a bright place compared to the darkness and sorrow that some of us are going through. But the thing that makes us survive and continue and make us able to cross that day and to make it through the next hour is that thread of hope that shiny lifeline that is calling us from within to renew our trust in life and to find another handle to hold an edge a corner to grab and to try to cover our frozen body with that small tiny blanket of hope and trust in God. Even if you feel and think that it sounds dramatic, the truth is that thousands and thousands of people are going through great, horrific hours, devastating life situations, rebukes, shames, rejections, insultings, traumas, and people are still holding on although not always willing to continue and not always able to find a reason to continue, but because that those people have that precious soul within, they're holding on to that almost hidden and mysterious light that shines from within and not letting go. I spoke today with a very good friend of mine, a person that is suffering tremendously from loneliness, a person of truth, an honest person, a kind person a loving and respectful person, 
a real man of truth, a very good friend. But no matter how much love he will put, how much honor he will give, how kind he will be, life are keep on like the ocean, bringing waves on waves of challenges toward him. And I tried to cheer him up, but to see his broken look, his broken heart from trying to be only good in every situation and still finding himself standing in front of such locked, heavy doors that are always threatening to be sealed and totally locked in front of him is a heartbreaking experience for me. And I know that when I get a message from one life situation, it's a hint for me to present it to thousands of others of my friends and followers online. Because this person is a reflection of many others that lives among us and suffers from loneliness, from sadness, from poverty, spiritual, emotional, financial poverty. People that are alone, alone in the struggle, alone in their position, alone in their houses, alone in their holidays, alone in their thoughts. And we must break the curtain and to pass to their place and to be there for them. I read once an article that for a person not to feel lonely, he needs to have 10 minutes of a conversation a week. Find those 10 minutes and make a phone call to a person that you suspect to be lonely and give him a hand to walk on that bridge, to walk out of his darkness of light. Make that phone call, knock on that person's door, spend 10 minutes with him, 15 minutes with him. Let him feel that he's not alone in those 15 minutes, in those 10 minutes. They can be a life-changing 10 minutes, and you will save lives in that way. Remember the dark hours when you shine and when the light shine upon you, for you to go and shine to others. This is our purpose. When you have one dollar, you need to break it and to give to others. When you have a house, you need to invite guests. When you have wisdom, you need to share from your wisdom. Even when you have scars and marks from life, you need to share from your life experience and to help other people in the need of your conclusions, of your solid understandings, and the wisdom that you purchased in your struggles in your hard times, in your difficult hours. Those are the treasures, the diamonds that you collected along the way. And it's never too late to bring a positive change into the life of your loved ones and your closest ones. Be that good example that could have saved your life earlier to save lives of other people today and tomorrow. And may Hashem answer all our prayers and all our requests and all our hopes and all our yearnings and our holy desires for them to take place, all our dreams to come true.
in our days, in front of our eyes, with all our loved ones. Amen. Can you hear that song?